As usual, three awesome athletes on the podium today. We have uh, on rank three, Jan Schmid from Norway. We have Fabian Riesler on the second place and Eric Frenzel returns to the first place. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Jan, I'd like to start with you because I have a confession to make. When I uh, looked at the start list this morning and I saw like a strong Norwegian team, I have to confess I didn't really pick you on the podium today. Then again, you had a really awesome cross country race. So can you tell us a little bit what happened out there on the track uh, from your point of view? Yeah, first of all, I wouldn't have picked myself either. <laughs> uh, but today uh, the, the race was, was really, uh, Say, calm. So it was really nice. But Akito did a lot of work, and he's uh, extremely nice to ski behind because he skis very, a very even speed. And so uh, it didn't really cost too much the first three laps, and then uh, on the last lap when we saw that wall, when I saw what the wall was struggling, I thought, okay, now I can pull as well. So then we went a bit harder and harder up from the stadium. And then Fabian came at, towards the top, and I just had to try and hang on. That's what I could. So I'm really, really happy that I got the podium and not a fourth place, which I thought for a while that it was going to be. Yeah, who wants that, right? <laughs> okay, I'm going over to Fabian. Uh, congratulations, the yellow bib is yours for now. But we're still working on the on the details because it's a tie with your uh, teammate Johannes Ritsche, who had it until now, and I think we have to figure it out at some point uh, if somebody, only one guy has it, or if you really share it easily. But for now, same amount of points. Um, you must be quite happy to be up there, considering that your team is also really, really strong uh, this winter. Um, would, would you have thought before this race that you end up in the yellow bib here? No, of course not. I think the gap was a little bit too much from the start, but yeah, it was a very nice race. I um, tried to follow with Jan. He had a good good shape this year and yeah it, it was a great race at the end and a strong finish from me i think i can catch um, eric but yes it's it's nice to be the second and it's it's great i'm happy also one word uh, about the jumping this morning um of course compared to luca last weekend it's quite calm and nice and easy here but still, we had some uh, differences in like during the round. I think, like how how was it from your perspective, the jumping part? Did it, uh, were the conditions influencing it quite much, or was it quite uh, even conditions? Yeah, it was a little bit sad because there was a little bit of tailwind, and we go up with the gate, and then there was headwind, and then we go with down. Yeah, it was a little bit trouble up in the in run, but yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, moving over to Erik, um, as I said earlier, uh, the, the king of Nordic combined, at least of last year, is back on the, on the first place. Is that uh, your answer to the last weekend that did not go super great for you? Uh, maybe, but <laughs> um, yeah, I think today was really good for me. Um, I had a good jump on the hill. Um, it was nice to feel that was... Um, really good and yeah on the cross country it was a hard job for me today um, it was not so easy because um, the group behind me um, make a, a really strong race and um, make hard pace and so it was not so easy for me um, to push my own over the whole race but um, yeah, at the end I'm really happy that I'm on the first place today. It was nice for me to be back and yeah. One word about the venue also because uh, we had this beautiful sunshine weather today. Um, awesome, perfect, Nordic combined day I would say. Tomorrow the same races on schedule again. Um, are you looking forward to the next competition? Yes, of course. Um, I think today was a really great day. Um, the conditions are really perfect. Um, for competitions and um, yeah, I hope so that the same conditions are for tomorrow, but um, yeah, we will see.